Hello everyone. Today is the Masquerade Ball in Requiem. It will take place in the Old Town Museum. Let's see what happens. I am fully disguised, a concealed figure. Nobody can see who I am until I reveal myself. Normally, being concealed would mean that the guards will come after you and slap you. But this time, because of the event, a Cinderella Spectacular, the concealment law has been lifted. Oh, there's a crowd already. <laughs> Greyhound's blatantly deep but not profound is him. Oh my god, so many. A fellow with a fish mask and a fancy go sitting on the arm with this Greyhound! Yo, Gre forgot to hide your title. Or you lean it on purpose? Ah, I can't see anything, oh my goodness! There is no description here. This is somebody run the Black Suns. Oops. But I'm not sure who this is. Wow. The sun. Very striking. Oh my god. I'm attending too. There's quite a lot of Roman inspired influence. So, yeah. Some guy. Alright, that is Cinderella. They will confiscate all the weapons on purpose so that so that no fights will break out in theory. 
Oh no, I don't know who is coming next. Oh, I know who is this. Woman, I'm not sure who it is. Various mutilations. So it's May Arto then. I think it is. character to get this moving along you can keep your weapons in your possession but role play passing them well I think everyone will play along I think everyone will play along mm -mm. you can just consider them turn over I hear music, but I can't tell who it is. Ah, that's me. Thank you. A silken ball gown. Somebody dressed fancy. This garment is made of the finest silk. It's draped over the curves of the wearer in an alluring and evocative way. The gown is smooth and shimmers in low light, giving the wearer an aura at the real beauty. Along the hem, a row of ribbons in various stages of flight, so that when the wearer moves, it gives the illusion of motion. It's a D. Rabin lady then. I accidentally remove it. There we go. Now I'm properly described.
I think this is magic. I think it's magic because of his color scheme. Absolutely towering stature. I think this is a daylar. But I don't remember a daylar being. But I don't remember a daylar being particularly from the big sword. It's really, really crowded in here. In the last white wolf mask, yes. I think this is mode. <laughs> it's funny to guess who's there. Some are quite obvious. I just hope I'm not terribly obvious. Eliza Nixton is a temporary vendor. There's a time ball. I will not be so nitpicky though. My character speaks in a fairly unusual way, so open mouth, insert food. Corn, donuts, pie, chicken pot pie, roasted duck. 
Sparkly Cider. Let us proceed then. Evening. It's a vendor but doesn't sell anything. I think it's just an NPC. Oops. There no went out. Oh I know this is Yo. Dr. Theo Hanlon, she said she was gonna look like look like this. Um from old woman. Ah this is Basti Sarajad. One character in KMA. Woman ever.
Ah, it's the bartender from from the Harvey Hill. Green Ranger. Every time I see it, I say Green Lantern, Green Ranger. I'm gonna take off the cape and the uh, look now. Now everything fully showing. The riot! I don't want a riot anymore! No thank you! <laughs> Everyone looks great! Music's a bit soft here. Now my avatar looks like both in-game and out-matching, more or less.
I think this is Castle Lion. Someone wants to play a game of what? Let them talk. Let everyone else talk first. The thing about Viola is that she open mouth inside food. Posh lot, he says. Well, it is fancy dress after all. It kind of defeats the purpose if nobody's less fancy, isn't it? I give the game away too early. Someone chooses a bunch of flowers or forest leaves. The very short woman. Oh, right, right. I could guess it's the bartender. 
Again, I already did that. Dress as a clown, I think? Yeah, that's Quincy. And Hollis, maybe. Dress like a bar singer. I feel very ridiculous sitting alone. Let's shift. Yeah. Someone dressed as a bear. Oh, ew. A sandwich encrusted person. What is he supposed to be? A swamp monster? I think Moat is dressed as the one. That looks like a tree, bloody oak tree.
I guessed right, it was Quincy there. I'm not terribly hungry. I think the one that looks like a traveler, yeah, that's bastard. Quincy is going to play some music. I wonder what will turn up. between the Green Ranger and the rather fancy bartender at the very moment.
This is Atticus Black. An ogre of some sort. Someone dressed to look like a witch in purple. Concealed figure stands peering back at your eyes. I think it's no. Viola has never seen this person before, so you can't guess. Dance, but I'm not terribly sure how to do that. I'm not terribly sure who this is. <coughs> Some people think that Quincy's presentation style is too meandering. I'm not really one of them though.
no one the the custom soundtrack is on the sounds part. I should ask to dance. I'm not really a dancer. The song played quite short.
And oh, there's more inappropriate asses. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if if Quincy looks the wrong one?
At least, at least everyone's enjoying themselves. I'm glad for that. That's a morbid one. Great robin flowers. This is Ashford, I believe. I'm not really one for dancing, but I'm glad that everyone else is enjoying themselves. Mostly. The ballroom has cleared out to some extent. I think it's time for a slow dance. But I don't really... I'm not really familiar with anyone else to try to ask.
the bone matter, I suppose. Yep. Oh, well, I should pretend I don't know.
It's pretty dark in here for afternoon. Did they go dry hun? Labberer. Tailors are in town. I think Dr. Teo, Sindela, and a few others. Oh, the auction is about to begin, the dance is over.
I guess right, it was Ashford in disguise in brown everything. They're really dedicated guards. So they tried to slap Ashford's weapon out of his hands when he tried to show his weapon. Nice hammer, but I have no use for it. I don't fight with hammers on this character. It would be more Ida thing, but I'm not playing Ida today. Which uh, hitch chance increase, concussion low, armor ignores, thundering, the raging thrust. No idea. Late comer to the party?
A mythical spike halberd. By the impact. I don't think the bidding has gone over very well because but the economy is a little screwy but maybe at the later date Ash will try selling it again. The helmet is going more successfully than the hammer. <sighs> yeah! That was a pretty quick auction, but mythic weapons are quite rare.
Oh, it's the option for the new dance. Or oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Ooh. Is this something we can hold? It's a shoe! Beam Iris ones. Cinderella is a cobbler. Oh, we have custom design too. Glossy black pigment used on the leather being scrupulously applied with painstaking effort. Employing method which looks to be cutting edge. Thin lustrous strips of the same hue are used for the laser. Being thoroughly secure with burnished eyelids, fastened securely on the upper tongue. Even the soles have conscientious attention to detail. The outsole possesses a strange coating which allows the wearer ease of mind, offering resistance Ooh. to scars, stains, and other hazards when walking on past their last travel. The insole of the shoe provides a level of elevation ah. that could be comparable to walking on a bed of clouds. <laughs> Ooh.
Well, the shoes are even more of a hit than than the hammer or the halberd. But it makes no sense for Biola to buy those shoes because I don't really wear sneakers. A letter, a letter from who? I wonder. If I can have Evangeline Aldonis come to the stage, who? Who's that? So, I don't think it's anyone I know yet. Hmm. Ooh. Unfortunately, I'm not sure who in the world is this.
Not a clue, she says. <clears throat> That's cheaper than the shoes. That got weird really quickly. A sarcastic warning to give her back. Yep. Ah. Bidding for one gold. Hmm. Fighting over a date with a woman. Ah. 
<sighs> Next up, can I say King's Gate goes well? Oh! Goes well enough. What to is in the entire relation. The auction concluded, he said, hmm. Yeah! Thank you very much. That's a nice surprise I didn't expect. A final dance.
I'm not sure how to unconceal here, but I change it over to my normal one. Yeah, the talking mice.
Now I'm properly unhidden and revealed. Master Giant Uh The thirty third on what? A magician <laughs> Grandpa Green Ranger now. Yep. A lonely fisherman up I heard that story.
I wonder the rat will chase after him for fish. I think the auction with the main highlighted the evening. Or should I guess? I had them black well, wearing black everything.
I'd say the ball was a great success and great fun too. Although I didn't really dance because it was quite crowded, but people noticed me. That counts for something. Anyway, that concludes the Cinderella Spectacular Masquerade Ball, and I'll see you next time.